Hey, what is up everybody and welcome to the first video in 2020 and happy new year everybody. I hope you enjoyed your slide into 2020. I definitely did. I had so good food, man. It was amazing. It was really good. Oh my god, key lemon pie. I will never forget it. Today I want to talk about the best 10 electric skateboards for 20 in 2019 this was a great year I, I didn't test that many boards i just realized like i tested like 30 different boards which is not that much honestly for the people who don't know i also own eSkate europe and eSkateUS.com. so obviously sometimes we have problems with boards and that's what i want to start off the first board i want to talk about and the last one on the list but still in the top 10 is the wow go 3. why is it the last one on the list out of 12 boards i sold i have six destroy boards six destroy boards and that's 50 percent. that's a lot and honestly i'm not gonna buy these boards anymore unless i know they improve the battery so for now i'm i'm done with wow go 3 but I have the WowGo 3X right now. For now, that's the only board I'm gonna sell for WowGo. A little bit disappointed because I tested my board in the in the rain. I thought it was really good. I was taking it apart, and like all six boards that I had, they they all have battery problems. I ended up, you know, I I have a pretty bad deal honestly with with WowGo, so I I don't even earn like a hundred euros per board. <laughs> it's even less. It's horrible for me when I break when people break boards, right? Batteries are a big problem with WowGo, I think, and the shipping as well. The shipping takes insanely long, and sometimes I didn't even receive the boards, by the way. <laughs> but still, I want to have it on the list because I think it's an awesome build. Because my board, I don't know what happened. Like my board was holding up really, really good. I was riding it in the rain. I mean, you can you can see right here. I was riding it in the rain and even after a couple of rides after the rain session it was still working I thought it, it's a great board I thought it's gonna hold up forever and funny fact this board that I was riding in the rain I was selling it as a used board it is still working I just texted this guy and on the ninth place we have x-way riot um, it came out in march i think it's definitely not my favorite as i think it's so loud <laughs> i mean here you like here it is yeah insanely loud the fact that you can change the wheels you can have pretty much any wheels you want on it and i like this fact well at wheels is definitely not gonna happen on this kind of design and uh yeah that's why it's kind of on my you know last place <laughs> but still it's a good product and it was definitely one of the better products this year. I personally, honestly, I like the X-Way hot motor more than this one. Because I don't think the Riot one has more power. I think the normal hot version is good. And I also tested it in the rain. The only thing is after the rain test, I think it was last, it was in 2018 though. Um, when I was testing it in the rain, the problem was like the next day it was sounding really weird because i think x-way has some holes on the side of the motor which is basically not waterproof yeah uh, you definitely need to know that so yeah that's why it's the the last place it's it's too loud but you can change it really easy well the really easy thing it actually took us a while <laughs> but still overall really great app really great great ESC honestly the ESC is probably the best ESC I've seen uh, with the best remote controller on the market when it comes to two boards that cost like a thousand dollars I think so overall awesome board I like it on eighth place we have Meepo NLS Pro and it's selling for a pretty good price dollars 690 but yeah you also need to know the shipping sucks oh uh, it also took so took around three months so I buy the boards from from Meepo uh, of course I'm getting it for a better price price than you if I get 10 boards but I'm buying them and the, the, the warranty starts when I buy them. And it takes 180 days. So if the shipping takes three months, like like three months of my warranty is gone. And then the problem is like people maybe buy it three months later. So my warranty is gone before I even sold the, the boards. Yeah, I had a couple of ESC problems, Lingia ESC, but, but so far from like, like I, I'm also not selling it anymore for a couple of reasons. Um, but out of 10 boards, I had like three, three problems. Not a big deal, but uh, it, it's too expensive for me, so uh, I'm not buying it anymore. But still, it is a great board. The only thing is the Ling Yi ESC, I 
don't like too much. The thing is a little bit when you go when when you go. I was talking about this for a couple a couple times actually. So when you go downhill and you want to break, it's always breaking too strong. Like th there's not really something in the middle, and that's the thing with the Ling Yi. I see. And we come to the next D skate on my list. It's the Evolve GTR Bamboo version, and. Why it's on my list? I mean, this board, in my opinion, has everything. I tested it just once. I, I haven't seen many. I've, I've heard some people have problems. I've seen actually videos, but like, is it that many boards? I think I think Evolve is selling a crazy amount of boards. And of course, if people have a problem, they they will, you know, talk bad about it on the internet. I think their customer service system is really good. And that's why it has to be on the list. And I think the fact that you can also change the wheels, it has a lot of power. It definitely has a lot of power. I like the flexibility of the of the deck. I like that you can change out batteries. So this Evolve has to be on this year's list. The only thing I could say about Evolve overall, and it's also like the next part on the list is the GTR carbon version, is that, uh, you know, the, the motors get hot. And uh, when we were actually going uphill versus Meepo board, um, I think Meepo did better uphill, I'm which going is amazing. As well, he's almost like faster than me. Come on, that. Come on, my board's a lot more expensive. <laughs> I should be faster. Man. No, are you kidding me? This can't be true. Hey, I believe my my really old GT would be faster than this board, man. Like I would just go in the GT mode and like just accelerate the whole time. I would never have like a voltage lag or anything. I mean, Evolve costs like more than twice as much and is not going uphill as fast as a Meepo board. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. So the motors get too hot. So I was definitely wishing for for Evolve to make bigger motors. I'm still honestly like a little disappointed and uh, I've seen pictures of bigger motors. So I think Evolve figured out the problem and they will come out with bigger motors. I hope that the price will not race again. Actually, I wanna I wanna change something real quick. <laughs> so Evolve Carbone, I think is, is not flexy enough when I was when I was riding in, in the in the forest. Evolve GTR Carbone, I want on the seventh place because I think it's way too stiff, especially with the big wheels. If you go right off-road, I think it's way too stiff. Evolve GTR Bamboo version is for me on the sixth place because it's, it's more flexible. You can change out the batteries. I think it's overall better than the Carbone version. But overall, still i don't like the motors they get hot and it's 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 for a two thousand dollar board i don't think this should happen at all and number five on my list is Faber gold dual belt and dual hop they're going to be in the same place i think it's still the best option to travel around the world because of its weight it has the best shape of a board because you have a nose and the tail and a good concave i like it the new battery is great and still i'm gonna sell the last boards right now the last 12 boards that i have in stock here in germany we've had a lot of problems actually we started off with this board two years ago we've had problems with the battery now i ended up like uh repairing all the batteries here in germany and all these batteries that i repair they hold up forever and uh yeah straight out of the factory no and that's why i don't want to work with this factory anymore i'm working on a new board right now actually a couple new boards the first four places are gonna be a little hard because i think they are really really close together if i would start off with one it's it's probably jk i still think this board has a couple problems but i really hope for them they're gonna figure out all the problems but overall i still really really love the idea of jk i mean it's it's the electric trucks it's super light it's still one of the lightest sports on the market um it, it's a four-wheel drive it's definitely the lightest four-wheel drive on the market i mean think about that and uh yeah the range the range is definitely the biggest thing i need to talk about but still in countries where electric skateboarding is not allowed i think this board is great great board great esc great remo controller so this is like uh, definitely earned the fourth place in 2019 
because they definitely perfected the board in 2019. When I first tested it in 2018, I thought it was def it was definitely not uh, good at all. <laughs> On the third place, we have Onboard W2 and I need to say they are going to be in the same place for me, WoWGo 3X, even though I didn't test it right now, but I've seen a couple of videos still. It has a difference, a price difference actually, of 250 US dollars. Onboard did a really, really good great job on this board it has a lot of power it has a different esc though hobby wing esc as well as the other board but the esc is definitely different from the wowgo 3x wowgo 3x also made its own um remote controller a really really great remote controller probably one of the greatest ones on the market actually with four four speed modes wowgo has has only a six ampere battery and the small battery from onboard only has four amperes so expect a range of like 10 kilometers with it so if you go for the samsung 9 ampere you'll pay more but only a hundred dollars more which is still really good and it's nine amperes so twice as big and uh, 50 percent bigger than uh, wowgo 3x so you definitely have more range if range is important to you definitely go for the for the onboard w2 and on the second place we have awesome gt and you know why because of the shock absorber wheels i love them first ever i've seen with hot motors and yeah the hot motor is not anything new on the market but it has enough power it's a hobby wing esc the flexible enclosure design i like it it has a lot of range and that's that's something which is really important to me with the tennis 4p version you get up to 50 kilometers and the best thing is definitely out of 30 boards i only have one destroyed board and that one board i actually got replacement parts within two weeks so they take it really seriously my factory when it comes to that and i'm also working right now on a black version of this board so a new grip tape a like new wheels of course just black wheels and on the first place we have black carve and you know why because we have like sold so many boards this year that i can really say right now we have improved the board so the first 60 boards honestly we have to have we have had broken trucks broken boards so if we have improved the metal of the trucks we have improved the, the decks itself we now use uh, actually fiberglass on the top and then on the bottom overall i like the board because you can change the wheels it has a lot of power right now i'm testing a wesk from from flip sky honestly i don't like it too much because I think it's too expensive and it's not much better. So instead of that, I already started a pre-order. I'm going to make a 12S battery, which is going to bring you 55 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's pretty much it with my list. I hope you enjoyed. If you, if you have any recommendations for boards or if you have any, any problems with boards that I was talking about, tell me in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.